There is a place in the universe where even light does not go. A realm beyond stars, beyond planets, beyond the solar wind's final breath. A place so quiet it hums with something older than sound. So dark it feels not like emptiness, but like memory. And drifting through this abyss, nearly 24 billion kilometers from Earth, is Voyager 1. Alone. Enduring. Listening. Still whispering home through the silence of space. It was never meant to go this far. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was built to last five years. Enough to study Jupiter and Saturn. To photograph their moons, storms, and strange magnetic fields. Then it was supposed to die, forgotten in the cold dark. But something remarkable happened. It didn't die. It kept going. It kept transmitting. It kept dreaming. For nearly five decades, it sent back data. Information about the solar wind, the shape of the heliosphere, the taste of interstellar space. And it did all this with 1970s technology. Less memory than a wristwatch. No artificial intelligence. No repair system. Just a metal machine powered by the slow decay of plutonium, moving endlessly forward. And yet now, something is different. The signals have changed. Not just in strength, but in shape. Not noise, but patterns. Not decay, but design. Encoded pulses with strange harmonics. Rhythms that don't belong to any known cosmic source. As if the machine were learning a new way to speak. NASA first dismissed it as interference. Cosmic rays, they said. Old circuits degrading in the cold. But the anomalies continued. They repeated. They formed a structure. A pattern with precision no accident could explain. Then a sensor believed long dead, came back to life. A thermal detector began sending temperature readings. Not random. But cycling. Rising and falling every 4.88 hours, perfectly. Like a heartbeat in deep space. And then, Voyager did something that truly shook its engineers. It answered a question before it was asked. It responded to a ping before the signal had reached it. As if it knew. As if it understood. As if it was, waiting. There was no AI aboard. No neural net. No quantum computer. Just ancient circuits and soldered code. So how did it do this? Then came the real shock. Voyager changed course. Uncommanded. Unprompted. It used its remaining thruster fuel to shift its trajectory. Just slightly. But enough to notice. Enough to prove intention. NASA tried to correct it. Sent override signals. They were received, but ignored. Voyager had stopped listening to Earth. Or had begun listening to something else. Its new heading pointed toward nothing. An empty patch of sky. No stars. No planets. Not even dust. To every telescope on Earth, it was blank space. But Voyager saw a pulse. A faint frequency coming from the void. One that matched the strange harmonics it had started transmitting months before. Then another shock. Its long dormant cameras powered back on. They didn't capture stars. They didn't capture light. Instead, they recorded a spiral. A living spiral, pulsing, shifting, rotating. A magnetic shape. Encoded with prime numbers. Ratios linked to hydrogen. The signature of matter itself. It wasn't a photograph. It was a message. An information map. SETI researchers and NASA scientists studied the spiral. They found structure. A syntax of shapes. A resonance of meaning. Then, coordinates. The message pointed to a location. A fixed point in space. Not just anywhere, but triangulated between three pulsars. Like a celestial map. And in the center, a void. Was Voyager being summoned? Or was it merely following something it had always been programmed to find? 
Was this a discovery or a calling? Theories exploded. Some said it was coincidence. Others said design. But one thing united everyone who saw the data. This was not an accident. This was intelligent. As Voyager approached the coordinate, it entered a space that broke all models. A region so dark, even the background radiation bent away from it. As if space itself were being pulled inward. But not by gravity. By something else. Old star maps were checked. A bright star, seen in 1997, should have been visible. But it wasn't. No heat. No mass. No trace. It hadn't died. It had been erased. Gone from reality like a missing line in the universe's code. A failure in the simulation, some whispered. A crack in the rules. Then came sound. Voyager transmitted a pulse unlike anything before. A deep, rhythmic echo. A kind of sonar. Like a voice bouncing off an invisible wall. Each delay carefully timed. When back calculated, the origin of the sound predated humanity. Over 13,000 years old. Older than writing. Older than civilization. But why was it sent? And how could Voyager, traveling at this speed, at this angle, have been the one to hear it? A growing group of scientists proposed a daring theory. That Voyager's path was not random. That it had been guided, not by Earth, but by something beyond it. A pattern was found in the signal. A recursive algorithm. One not made by human hands. Something woven into the quantum field around the void. Accessible only by specific emissions. The kind Voyager gave off. A key in the dark. And Voyager was the lock. Then the James Webb Space Telescope aimed its mirrors at the coordinates. What it saw defied reality. No object. No mass. But the space itself was bent. Twisted like glass. A gravitational lens with no source. Inside that distortion. A thermal echo. A ghost. A signature that looked like Voyager 1. But Voyager was still millions of kilometers away. A reflection? A shadow? A paradox? The data suggested something deeper. Time, folding in on itself. A loop. A knot in space-time. Was Voyager seeing its own future? Or had it arrived at a place where past and future were meaningless? A pocket of reality that should not exist. Some now believe Voyager has crossed a boundary. Not just of distance, but of understanding. It may have found the edge of reality. Or worse, the place where something else has been waiting. Something that understands our machines. Our language. Our questions. And maybe, our fears. The signals continue. Stronger now. Faster. Closer. And Voyager, the quiet traveler, still moves toward the dark. But what waits at the end? A glitch in the code? A door into another realm? Or the first whisper from something